Hello, good afternoon to all the colleagues who have joined us from Madrid, Spain. Good morning and good evening to all the participants who have joined us from the rest of this world. Today, we're going to present our paper towards an innovative model in wearable expert system for skiing. Myself, Shervin Burgess, I am a software engineer at SAP, and my colleagues, Elton Kurian and Stefano Fionini, are PhD scholars at the Department of Computer Science, Systems and Communication, University of Milano, Bicocca, Italy. The agenda for the day would be, we would be taking you through the introduction, the problem definition, what variable expert system is, and first of all, what knowledge engineering is. Then we will be talking through what a variable expert system for skiing is, this is our paper. And then we will be talking through the skiing expert system design, then we have the conclusion. Variable expert system is an expert system that is designed and implemented to obtain user input and to give output to wearable devices. So the wearable expert system have been used, being used in various fields, including medical, especially in the point of care testing equipment, as you can see in the figure, and also being used in sports and athletics to monitor the physical state of the wearer in real time. Let me move on to the problem definition. The problem that we are facing is there is no expert system that is able to monitor and help us here in real time. The solution that we are going to propose here is the wearable expert system for skiing, WES. It supports skiing by providing emergency support, different operating modes, suggestions and recommendations based on the situation, and real-time analysis of the performance of the skier. Moving on to what knowledge engineering is. Knowledge engineering involves construction, maintenance, and the use of knowledge-based systems. WES is a hybrid system as it implements rule-based model, case-based model, and the non-case-based model. There are three types of knowledge. They are functional knowledge. So functional knowledge consists of descriptions of the functionality, the components of the components or the subsystems, subcomponents of the system, and the relationship between them. Procedural knowledge is the understanding of how to apply these concepts learned in any problem-solving situation. Experiential knowledge is a knowledge derived from experience. Moving on to what wearable expert system for skiing, WES, is all about. So what is WES? WES is a wearable expert system that consists of a wearable specialized skiing gear that is worn by the skier. By the skier. So the specialized skiing gear, we'll talk about it in a few slides ahead. And now how it helps the skier. So WES acts as an experienced human skier by applying the knowledge artifacts, rules, and inferences. What are the characteristics of WES? First thing is real-time data collection from the skier and the processing and the receiving of data according to the rules which are stored in the system and implements various actions. It can be also interfaced with different external systems such as emergency and disaster rescue systems and to help the skier in case of any emergency or in case of any mishap so that the skier's life is not affected by any accident or a natural disaster. Now, as in the earlier slide, we had mentioned about the skiing gear. So let me talk about the components of the specialized skiing gear. The specialized skiing gear consists of various sensors and the components such as the display unit. So the display unit is a unit which is mounted within the visor of the skier. It acts as a secondary display so that the skier can see the real-time guiding information. Suppose if, if the skier is in the piste mode, which I would be explaining later. So in the pist mode, we'll have the directions being shown on the visor within the display unit. So the display unit would also show up different information of the skier, such as its heart rate and the current location of the skier that will help the skier and guide the skier through the location or during the skiing activity. Next up, we have the GPS sensor. The GPS sensor is necessary to find out the position of the skier in real time. We also have a compass just in case the skier might lose its direction or in case if the skier is getting lost somewhere, right? we need to guide the skier back to its location. So for that, we have a compass. We also have an accelerometer that actually records the G sensors and the forces that are experienced by the skier during the skiing activity. This is essential for measuring the performance 
of the skier. We also have a gyroscope that measures the rotational uh, information. And we also have a 4G and 5G mobile network with the same module, uh, because if the skier veers out of the location where there is no Wi-Fi network connection available, as a backup, we have a 4G or 5G network SIM module, wherein the user can get real-time information from the expert system without any loss of connectivity. We also have a heart rate uh, sensor and a pulse oximeter. The heart rate sensor measures the, the heart rate of the skier, also the oxygen levels. We also have a temperature sensor, pressure sensor, speakers and mic. Speakers and mic are very essential in case of any natural disaster or accident uh, if it happens to the skier. So if a mishap occurs, the skier can always use the speakers and mic to communicate directly with the emergency system and the disaster rescue team so that they can locate the skier and find out which situation that the skier is in. We also have SOS alarms and lights that goes off in case of an SOS emergency so that if there are people nearby, they can identify the lights or by the SOS alarm, they can identify the skier and can help the skier get back to safety. We also have a personal locator beacon. The personal locator beacon is sort of the last resort in case of the skier is in a very remote location where there is no network, there's no 4G network, there's no internet at all. And in this case, if the skier is lost or if there's a mishap that has occurred, the personal locator beacon would help to find out where the location of the skier is precisely so that the skier can be rescued as soon as possible or the skier can be guided back to the location. Next up, we have the WES architecture. So the WES comprises of various knowledge subsystems. So the main components are the skiing equipment, which we discussed earlier, and then we come on to the skiing expert system. So the skiing expert system, as you can see, has got a communication interface, execution engine, real-time data collection, inference engine, information retrieval engine, rules processing engine, and we have a database and knowledge base. We also have connection to the external systems such as help and rescue and the medical teams that will help monitor the skier and also guide the skier during his skiing activity or in case of any emergency, help him out. Let me talk about the skiing expert system design. So we have a knowledge base that stores the rules and knowledge artifacts. And we have information retrieval interface that is responsible for collecting real-time data and for retrieving the user information from the database. Then we have a rules processing engine. The rules processing engine loads the procedural knowledge, knowledge artifacts based on the user and the operation mode. I'll come to the operation mode in the coming slides. We'll be talking about it. Inference engine. The inference engine receives the data from the information retrieval engine and the rules processing engine, and it checks if any particular rule is matched or not. Execution engine. The execution engine is responsible for executing the task received from the inference engine. And in case if a rule is matched, it, uh, the inference engine triggers the execution of task to the execution engine. So the execution engine is responsible for executing a particular task, such as triggering an SOS alarm in case of an accident, or guiding the skier back to the location, providing rec recommendations to the skier for improving the skiing activity. We also have a communication interface that is responsible for maintaining communication with the skier and with external systems, such as disaster and medical assistance systems. Next up, we have the operation modes. So there are two operation modes. Normally in skiing, they are the beast mode and the off beast mode. So off beast mode would mean um, there is no fixed location or there is no map uh, where the skier is supposed to do the perform the skiing, but the skier is free to move along uh, to whichever location the skier wants. But in beast mode, there is a particular map or a location. In a similar fashion, our expert system is also designed to take up these two modes. So in the beast mode, it allows the skier to ski within specific regions or the zones. We also have a map information of that zone and we always guide the skier. In case of the skier moves out of the zone, we guide the skier using directions in his display unit. The skier can come back to the location and continue skiing activity. This also helps us to monitor the time taken by the skier to perform a lap or a sprint so that in case of a competition, we can measure the real time performance of each skier and rank them accordingly. 
And in off-piste mode, this mode is meant for advanced skiers or cross-country free ride skiers. As mentioned earlier, there is no particular location. We do not restrict the skier to any particular location, but the skier is free to roam around the location uh, wherever he wants to. But this comes with its own disadvantages because there might be any uh, weather hazards or avalanches that might have occurred a couple of days back. In this mode, our expert system continuously monitors the GPS location of the skier and also warns him, warns the skier if he's moving close to any uh, weather hazard location or any avalanches. So the skier can be safe and he performs the skiing within the safe zone. Conclusions. So to provide practice, proper practice guidelines for skis, from beginners to experts and to support medical assistance and in case of an emergency and to help the skier, the wearable expert system for skiing, WES, is being proposed. WES aims to help the skiers improve their skiing skills by providing real-time monitoring and also feedback to the expert system. And it also helps to save human life in case of any emergencies, making skiing safer. An outline for modeling the expert system and the different modes of the expert system is also mentioned in this paper. Our future work involves implementing the architecture in a scalable cloud deployed service that stores the skills data, and also to incorporate expert on smart devices like Alexa and Google Glass, and support ad hoc skiing races among a group of skiers and to measure out their performances. We also have plans to add in geographical terrain map information from various skiing grounds so that the user, a skiing user who has this wearable device will have access to all the maps locations of the various skiing grounds around the world. Thank you so much for your attention. Here, once again, we have the authors, Alson Korean, Sherwin Burgess, Stefano Fiorini. We have our email addresses as well displayed below. In case of any questions, feel free to reach out to us and we will be always be available throughout the chat as well to reply to your question. Thank you. With this, I wish everyone a great day ahead. Thank you so much for listening to us. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.